It is time to get after it. It's time to put on your lawyer hat. The idea of Trump exercising executive privilege to avoid any scrutiny by the January 6th commission is being reported as if it is a legitimate option. It should not be. And here is why. The facts. Trump sent a letter to the National Archives today asking to withhold about 40 documents the committee wants, citing executive privilege. Now, does that exist? Yes, a sitting president has that privilege. The key is sitting. Trump is obviously out of office. Does that matter? Yes. Why? Two arguments. Legally, there is zero precedent for a former president getting such protection from their own issuance, from their own issuance, meaning they say, as a former president, I want to ex exercise this privilege. Now, there's a distinction to be made. I'll get to it in a second. But no precedent of the law recognizing a former president being able to do this. The closest thing to a case on point is what happened in the Supreme Court against Nixon. And that case rejects the idea. Why? The privilege belongs to the presidency, which is an office. It does not attach to the person in the office ad infinitum, meaning forever. Second, we know this not just as a matter of law, but as a matter of practice, because to the distinction I mentioned earlier, former presidents have asked sitting presidents to exercise the privilege on their behalf to protect particular communications or documents. That means, in no small irony, it is up to President Biden to choose whether to protect Trump's January 6 communications. And Biden said, no way. You deserve a full understanding of what led to an attack on the Capitol on January 6. President Biden in the White House said it matters too much to censor. But for Trump, this is not about the law. It's not about proper practice. It is about delay. Delay by a man who's been working the legal system for half a century. The latest move, his lawyer warned four of his ex-aides not to comply with their subpoenas, and at least one listened. The January 6th panel put this out earlier. While Mr. Meadows and Mr. Patel are so far engaging with the select committee, Mr. Bannon has indicated that he will try to hide behind vague references to privileges of the former president. We will not allow any witness to defy a lawful subpoena or attempt to run out the clock, and we will swiftly consider advancing a criminal contempt of Congress referral. Now, if you'll recall, four Trumpers got subpoenas. They only mentioned three. They left out Scavino. Why? Because effectively he's been on the lam for the last two weeks, dodging being served, although personal service meaning to him directly, it's not really necessary here. Of all those four, though, Bannon has the fewest reasons to not comply. His lawyer put out this uh, tripe that they must accept Trump's direction and honor his invocation of executive privilege. Now, this fails twice. First, again, there is no privilege for a former president, which is what Trump is, to be exercised by the same. Second, Bannon wasn't even part of the administration on January 6th. He was a podcast host under indictment, as a matter of fact, for allegedly defrauding Trump supporters. Remember, Trump let him off the hook and pardoned him. So even if executive privilege did apply here, and it should not, neither with the others and certainly not with Bannon, because that protection is about a president and key advisors so that they can have conversations without fear of exposure. But in 2018, Trump said of Bannon, Steve Bannon has nothing to do with me or my presidency. Now, that was after they had a falling out, but that's irrelevant. If Bannon had nothing to do with the presidency, according to former President Trump, how could the privilege argument ever hold up, even if privilege existed? So, with privilege waived by Biden and not available to Trump, 
Will the committee follow through on its threat to hold Bannon in contempt? That's what is getting all the media focus. But I suggest a different question. Forget Congress. Will any of what has, is, and will likely come out about Trump savaging the Department of Justice and its officials move from Congress to the DOJ itself, meaning will Attorney General Merrick Garland take action? 